let's run through this. I'm going to start off, send A, and levels to all skills if integer is set to maximum. Integer does not change between ascensions. It will send S, then it will send D, then it will send F, then G, which will level up all of the primary skills in order. And it will send QWE, which activates the auto idle guns. Uh, then it will send the location of the pulse abilities, and it will click that 12 times. Anything less than 500 has a chance of overclicking with any lag, so just leave it at 500. It might seem slow, but you're really not losing that much time. Done. It'll go to the location of the activated abilities. It will click that 10 times to level that up. Then it will move to the location that the rainbow ball appears at at the earliest moment. Clicking. And it will send 7, which activates dimension shift. But there is no need to activate this more than once, so it is not included in the super clicker script. Second. Then it sends F5, or whatever key you have set, to turn on the super clicker, which is this script up here. I will go to that in a moment. Then it sleeps for whatever the set amount of time that you have. Time is in milliseconds, so 7,200,000 is 2 hours, which is what I usually have it set at. 7,200,000 is half an hour, so forth and so on. 1,000 is 1 minute. Uh, you probably won't ever actually single minute runs. Uh, minimum I recommend is 300,000, which is 5 minutes. After that sleep time, we'll send F8, which is also in the super clicker. This reloads the super clicker. It does not pause it. If you are out of the game, if you are alt-tabbed doing other stuff, it will simply reload it so that it's not going back into super clicking when you're outside of the frame, which can be really detrimental if you're doing pretty much anything on the internet. Then it will click the ascension button, which was up here at the times 10. And it will go to confirm ascension. And then it will confirm the level up selection. Sleeping for 5,000 milliseconds or five seconds allows the map to reload. Uh, and you should set this to 10,000 for slow computers. It can be really fast but I don't actually recommend setting it below 5,000 because any lag or any hiccups on your computer is going to make it go slower. Super clicker, very easy. Simply loops send SDFAG. That order is the priority order for weapon usefulness. You can set this to a different order if you so choose, but it goes so fast that it really doesn't make too much of a difference, so that's okay. I personally like the AoE weapons over the single fire weapons. And it will spam that once every 100 milliseconds, so 10 times per second. Anything higher than that will get your leaderboards locked. Uh, and it will send space so that it activates all of the activated abilities every time that they're available. Fortunately, the activated abilities actually tend to have a common denominator, so they will eventually line up, uh, and it will use uh, the, the reset all as well. So let's show you how this bot works. First thing you want to do for starting the bots is that you're on a fresh game. So if you're in this state, MS up and not work. Want to go time warp? Yes. Confirm. Start new timeline. Just confirm level ups. Then you want to be here before you start the bots. You don't want to click any of this stuff. So mess up. Go to your folder that you have the bots in. You want to start both of them. PC auto ascend slim has a start of F4. Super Clicker has a start of F5. Going to load both of them. 
both be down here and marked as green. Want this to be in 1600 by 900, or ideally 1600 by 900. If you want to change around the size, you're going to have to change a bunch of those uh, script coordinates. So to get this started, only press F4. Don't actually activate the super click because the TC auto ascend slim will activate the super click for you. note about this script it is only clicking at 10 times per second which is slower than the human record for clicking which is 13.5 clicks per second well technically against the terms of service the terms of service for this game specifically say any bot program third-party program that the developers themselves haven't sort of approved of and on the actual forms for this game there have been a lot of scripts posted for both AHK and other small scripting um, programs that have been approved by the developers or liked by the developers, and they have even posted their own. Note just in general about idle games is that a lot of them are sort of designed with this sort of scripting idea in mind, so it's not really cheating. For example, in Clicker Heroes, even before they added the little super clicking hands, they actually had an achievement for clicking at 80 times per second, which is way faster than people can click. That's actually the sort of limitation maximum for computer clicking without removing the limiter. So I believe that this should be okay. However, if you do opt to set this higher, uh, then 10 times per second. Expect that you won't be onto the leaderboards because that is um, superhuman. If you liked this content or want to see more scripting in the future, if you want to see all of the other little scripts that were in that folder at the beginning of this video, or if you want to see just general game reviews, game first impressions, artwork, etc., please give me a subscription. And uh, if you want, please also follow me on Twitch. I am trying to fundraise for surgery at the end of next year, and I would really appreciate your help. As one final note, I would like to apologize that my microphone is a little bit buggy. That will be fixed by February in my videos. I damaged my microphone by accidentally washing the dongle through the washing machine. So... Yeah, looking to get that fixed as soon as possible, and I hope you can bear with my videos being a little bit eh, until then. As always, this is Fazerati, signing off.